Marcia. And we hope you, you enjoyed enjoy this week's morning, morning show. show. Welcome to the Ironhurst Middle School News Broadcast. Today we're going to be talking about March Madness. March Madness is a tournament hosted every March by the NCAA with 68 Division I men's college basketball teams. This year's tournament has been quite eventful with a lot of crazy upsets. An upset is when the team projected to win loses. The biggest one so far was when 16 seed UMBC beat overall number one seed Virginia. There have been a lot of other upsets like Buffalo beating Arizona and Florida beating Xavier. One highlight from the tournament was the game between the Wolverines and Houston. The score was 63-61 Houston with 3.6 seconds left, and the ball was passed to freshman Jordan Poole on the Wolverines, who then scored a shot from behind the three-point line for the win. The last 16 teams left, or the Sweet 16, were Nevada, Loyola, Michigan, Texas A&M, Kentucky, Kansas State, Gonzaga, Florida State, Kansas, Clemson, Villanova, Syracuse, Purdue, West Virginia, Duke, and Texas Tech. Quick update, since then, Villanova beat Michigan in the championship game with a final score of 79-62. to Thanks so much for watching. My name is Surya, and I will be telling you about the 2018 Winter Paralympics and some of the athletes that participated in it. The Paralympics are for athletes with disabilities. This year, the Paralympics were held in the same place as the Winter Olympics, in Pyeongchang. The Winter Paralympics went on from March 9th to March 18th. There were over 560 athletes participating in the six sports. Alpine skiing, biathlon, cross-country skiing, para-ice hockey, snowboarding, and wheelchair curling, marking this as the biggest Winter Paralympics to date. End up sending the most athletes, 68, and they also ended up doing the best in the Paralympics and won most of the overall medals. Here are two Team USA Paralympics. Akhtov competed in the cross country skiing department this year. He is legally blind at a two time Paralympic. He was fourth place in the one. 1.5 km Sprint Classic and 5th in the 20 km Free in 2014. In the Winter Paralympics, he won silver in the 10 km Classic. Bamber competed in Alpine skiing. He is a three time Paralympic. He was fourth in the Super G at the Sochi 2014 Winter Paralympic Games. He was ninth in a downhill at the Vancouver 2010 Winter Paralympic Games. Amber was in a car crash in 2000, which made him a paraplegic. He was understandably depressed for a while after that, but a visit from 1992 gold medalist Paralympian Burt Burns opened his eyes again. He started taking out sports, and he was 12th in the Super Combined in the 2018 Winter Paralympics. Street smarts. Gear up for safety. Ow, my head! Wear a helmet, a helmet that you like, and on the road you'll be protected on your bike. Thanks. My elbows! Wear elbow pads, wear elbow pads, they help your elbows when you fall. Wear elbow pads, now you can fall small. Now I'll really be protected. Knee pads help you when you fall. Knee pads help you when you fall. Here are some knee pads especially for you. And these knee pads are the color blue. When you ride on your bike, wear a helmet that you like and a pair of bubble pads too. Don't forget to wear knee pads because they help protect you. I'm okay.